hello and welcome to another video today i'm going to show you how to crochet the rest of the amigurumi mouse that we made we started last week to make the pumpkin and today we're going to make the head for the mouse and all the other body parts also she has a little pumpkin hat that she can um, use my name is Rangnil and I make weekly videos here on YouTube where I share my patterns. You can also find them for free on my blog. So check that out www.yarnhild.com. I'm going to leave, leave links below. So I'm using this yarn. This is from Schachenmeyer. This is the Catania yarn and this is a sports weight yarn. Use whatever kind of yarn you like and you just have to make sure you're using the same yarn for the pumpkin. Um, as for the mouse, so I'm using also a three millimeter crochet hook. We're gonna start with the magic ring. I also have a separate video on how to make the magic ring, but if you are a totally beginner, you can also chain four and do a slip stitch to join. But I'm just gonna make mine, so I like to do it like this, and then like so. You can find a slower video here on my channel if you don't know how to do that. And then we're gonna do four single crochets in this the ring. This is the the nose, so the 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 head the head. We're starting here with the nose. We're gonna sew on the nose afterwards, but we're just gonna make this part first. So now do four single crochets in the ring. So here, grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Now yarn over and pull through two loops. Now and do the next. Two, three, and four. Now pull the ring closed like so. Just pull here until it closes. And I like to work in continuous rounds. And now we're gonna do a one increase in every stitch. So increase here is the first stitch. Maybe a little hard to see there. It's kind of hiding a little bit. So now just do your single crochet there and just pull a little bit and here do another one like so and here two and here is the last one now you're supposed to have eight single crochets. So one here you count, like I'm from there where the stitch marker is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like so. Now move up a stitch marker and just continue. We're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch to create that long, long nose. Two. Now just grab here the yarn and pull it pull it close and now you can weave in your end here. This is something I like to do in the beginning. So if you like this kind of videos like your amigurumi patterns please uh, comment below on what you like to make. I like to make like small and quick patterns and um, so now we're gonna do one increase round. So move up a stitch marker and then we're gonna increase in every second stitch. So here is your here is your first stitch, not here. It can be sometimes hard to see. Just look here where your where your stitch is, here where the little V is. This is where you are, so you need to go into the next one. So one single crochet there and then increase in the next one and then this we're going to repeat this all the way we're going to repeat this for four times one single crochet and increase in the next and this is the last increase now we should have 12 single crochets so do one single crochet in each stitch. Now 
Now we have one more increase round. So increase in our third stitch. So one and two and increase here. Repeat this all the way around. Now we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch for two rounds and we have 16 single crochets now. Now we're gonna increase in every fourth stitch. So do three single crochets. Three and then increase in that the next one repeat this all the way around until we have 20 single crochets and now we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch so we have 20 single crochets now now we're gonna increase in every fifth stitch so do four single crochets one two three and four and then do an increase here in the next. Repeat this all the way around until you have 24 single crochets. So four single crochets and increase in the next one. Now we're gonna do three single crochets and increase in the next one. So it's a little different now because we want 30 single crochets at the end and you can have 24 after round 11 and round 12 we're gonna have 30 so do three single crochets one two and three and increase in the next repeat this all the way around or six more times so three single crochets and one increase in the next Now do one single crochet in each stitch for two rounds and we have 30 single crochets now. So just one single crochet in each stitch for two rounds and I will meet you afterwards. Now we're gonna fasten the safety eyes. If you don't have safety eyes you can sew on some eyes and I have a detailed video on my elephant uh, pattern here on the channels that you can, that you can watch. But I'm just gonna show you where I put the eyes. So here on rows, between rows 11 and 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So here. And now make sure that you are not putting the eyes where, where your the round starts and ends. My battery just died, so my uh, video got um, cut off, but I pay, placed the safety eyes between rows 10 and 11, and I have six single crochet stitches apart. Also, I took some orange yarn and I sewed back and forth here on round one to create a nose. And now we're gonna do some decreases. So do three single crochets place a stitch marker here so one two and three and now we're going to do one decrease so insert a hook in the front loop only in the next two stitches and then grab the yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. This is how to do one an invisible decrease. So three single crochets and then decrease. Normally you go like this and you yarn over and pull through, but if you want a nice decrease that you don't see, you just do this. So repeat this all the way around, three single crochets and one decrease until you have 24 single crochets. Next round, two single crochets and one decrease. Repeat this all the way around until you have 18 single crochets. If you want to, you can add a little stuffing now.
Now do one single crochet and one decrease. Repeat all the way around. One single crochet and one decrease. Now we're just going to decrease in every stitch and then I'm going to show you how to make a nice finish here. So just do six decreases. So one. stitch here in the next stitch and then cut the yarn you can leave a longer tail here because we can also use this tail to fasten um, maybe you can use this tail later so what I like to do if you watch my videos before you know I go through here the front loop only on every stitch here so here is the last one and now you get a nice finish and then you just go back in the middle and out here in the middle and then you can use this to sew on the body afterwards if you want to this is the head and now we're going to make the ears so for the ears I'm working with two colors so if you don't want to use orange you can use pink or blue or something so the ear is very easy you're just gonna do six single crochets in a magic ring so one I pull the ring close. My my yarn is a little different than the other yarn. This is a different yarn, but it's also sports weight. I didn't have any orange, but it doesn't matter. So increase in every stitch. So one and two, three. Now do one single crochet in the next and increase in the next. So here one single crochet and increase in the next. And repeat this all the way around until you have 18 single crochets. And now before you finish the last single crochet increase, just don't finish it, but yarn over here with a with a with a gray yarn or the yarn that you're using for the body for the mouse or for the head for the mouse. So you get a nice finish and then we can cut this one. This here.
now do work in the back loop only so here is the front loop here is the back loop and work in this one and show do two single crochets one and two and increase in the next one so we have one increase round here repeat this all the way around so one and two so here is our last one and then leave a longer tail here like, like so and cut the yarn now do a slip stitch in the first one here like so and now you should weave in your ends here and then you just pinch pinch the air like so and then you're gonna sew this back and forth so you get a little point point the edge here kind of like so and then sew here And now you're gonna make one more and then weave in the ends here. So the feet and the arms are almost the same. So I'm gonna show you how to make the, the feet and then I'm gonna explain to you a small adjustment that you can do for the arms. Now we're gonna make the hands. You're gonna make two hands and two feet and the hands and feet are almost the same. And I'm gonna show you how to make the hands and then we're gonna explain the small adjustment that you have to make for the feet so make a magic ring and chain one now do six single crochets in that ring so one two three i'm starting with the green by the way because the the body is green and the hands here are green but you can do whatever color you like of course now we're gonna increase in every stitch. So two single crochets in every stitch. So two single crochets in every stitch. And you should have 12. And then when you're making the feet, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch for one round. So do on your feet, do 12 single crochets and then you just do your decreases. But for the hands, we're going to do the de decreases now. So weave in this end afterwards. So like I said, if you're doing the feet, do one single crochet in each stitch for one round and then we're going to do one decrease in every stitch so decrease six times I'm going through the front loop only So when you are done here, you're going to change color. So I'm changing to gray. So now we have six single crochets. Like so, and then we're just going to do one single crochet in each, each stitch for 11 rounds. And for the feet, you're just going to do 12 rounds. So that's the only difference. can be a little fiddly this part because uh, you're working in a round with a few stitches but just count and then you'll be fine five and then six so i'm crocheting you over the tail here so i don't have to worry about weaving them in 
So now you just put a place a stitch, stitch marker there and then you just do one single crochet in each stitch and then you do 11 rounds for the feet and 12 then sorry you do 11 rounds for the arms and 12 rounds for the feet and now here at the beginning <clears throat> I'm just gonna add a little bit stuffing here but I'm not gonna stuff the rest of the arm just the front part here like so and then I'm just gonna leave it unstuffed so move up your stitch marker and then I have 10 more rounds to go here and then I'm gonna show you how to finish it so I will meet you after I have done my rounds now I have done my 11 rounds and I'm just gonna close it with single crochet so I go through I pinch it and I go through both sides and I just do some single crochets there and then it's closed and now cut the yarn and leave a longer tail because we want to sew it on so now you need to make one more of the arms and then one more of the feet so here so I'm using the green yarn and I'm making a magic ring and then six single crochets in the ring and now increase in every stitch so you can if you don't have a long tail here you can also leave a little longer tail here so you can use that because we're going to sew these body parts on the head. So don't worry if it's a little longer. Now increase in every stitch until you have 12. And now you have 12 single crochets and we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch. And now we're going to increase, increase in every second stitch. So one single crochet in the next and then increase in the next. Repeat this all the way around until you have 18 single crochets. So now we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch for one round, so 18 single crochets. Sorry, we're going to do two rounds with 18 single crochets. So do one more round and then the body is done. Now you can leave a longer tail here and then cut the yarn and then we're gonna slip stitch in the first stitch so and then fasten off for the hat you're gonna make a magic ring and then you're gonna do eight single crochets in the ring now we're gonna increase in every stitch again now we should have so you should put two single crochets in each stitch you're going to end up with 18 single crochets sorry 16 single crochets <laughs> um, so now just weave in the tail here and 
now we're just gonna crochet in the back loop only and we're gonna do one more increase round and then the hat is almost done we're gonna add some pumpkin green as well so we do one single crochet in the next in the back loop only and increase in the next and we're working in the back loop only for this for this round so one single crochet in the next and increase in the next repeat this all the way around until you have 24 single crochets so at the end here I'm gonna show you one little trick to make a nice finish also here because if you just slip stitch in the next stitch you won't get such a nice finish so you don't need such a long tail here I just I didn't sew on the head the hat to the head so if you want to do that you can leave a longer tail but just pull out the hook now and leave it like this now grab your tapestry needle and then you're gonna skip the next stitch and you're gonna go through both loops here on the next one because we want to create a fake stitch here and now you go through the back loop of the last stitch that you made the last increase like so and then you have a nicer finish and now you can weave in the end here don't pull too close because then you're going to ruin this last stitch here so this is how to make a nice finish so leave a leave the strand here if you want to sew on the the head to the head and now we're just going to make the pumpkin green and we have made all the parts make a slip knot and then you're going to chain seven doesn't matter also you can also chain eight depending how long this should be so two three four five six seven don't make your chains too tight now we're just going to slip stitch our way down here so go in to the second chain from the hook so here's the first and here's the second now slip stitch go in there and then grab the hook and then pull it through both loops like so so do this until you get go to get to the end here here's the last stitch so like so now you can cut the yarn Okay, now the, the first is here. We're going to just go through the middle here. So picking a different place here and I'm weaving up and down. Like so, make a knot. And then just weave in the end here. Of course you need to make the pumpkin as well and I have another video on that you're just gonna make the pumpkin like this and we're gonna and now you can if you have some pins you can just place them like so where you see so find a nice place here I like to go go in rows two to three and then just over the eyes here and then you can just place them so you see if it's a nice spot so my camera got interrupted again but now we fixed the problem so it won't happen again but uh, to make to sew on the ears I'm just going to show you here with an example I just have a strand here So just imagine that I haven't sewed on the ears and then you just go back and forth here like so like here and then you go like so and then you repeat this and then you go back to the same place where you went out like so 
and then you'd repeat this on the other ear too. And like I showed you with the pins, first you place the, the ears, find a nice position. First you find a nice position for with the pins. So now we're gonna sew on the body to the we're gonna sew on the, the body part here. So I'm using the tail here. You can also use that one and if you don't have one you can just find one. So make sure that it's in the middle here. Just use the nose and then um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So I start here on row round six. And just view here. Doesn't have to look so nice here because nobody can see this. If you get something like this, you can just go back and then put it more like so, so it won't be so visible. And we're going to place this here on the pumpkin, like so. We're going to add a little bit stuffing here, but first I'm just going to fasten it with a few stitches. So if you haven't made the pumpkin, go ahead and find a video on my channel or look at my blog and you can find a free pattern for the pumpkin as well. So now I'm going to sew on the head, the body part to the pumpkin here. So I'm just placing it here in the middle and then I'm going to add some stuffing. But first we're going to fasten it a little bit here. So I'm just Sewing a little bit up and down here. This can be a little bit fiddly. Let's just try to make sure that this is in the middle and then you'll be fine. So add some stuffing here. Just put it in there like so. Here I have some stuffing put in. And then just continue and then stuff as you go if you need more. And then you just do this all the way around. So I'm going to place the arms just here below the neck to make the head even more stable. So make sure that you have the hands part now and then I'm going to attach them here on the back side, just under the head here, like so, to make them, like, to add some extra support here. Just sew up and down or back and forth. Now check your position. So again, check to see if you have the middle here. She can sit. Her head is hanging a little bit, so maybe we can make a scarf. I'm thinking now. So, I'm making a slip knot. I'm just gonna make a little scarf here to make uh, 
you know to give her a little bit of accessorize and also to make it a little bit more stable the head so I'm just chaining five so one two three four five and then one single crochet in the second chain from the hook I like to work in those little bumps here like so So this is the little bonus part that the written pattern don't have. So chain one and turn and now just do one single crochet in each stitch. And do this until your scarf is long enough. You can also work with half double crochets. Or you can work in the back loop only. So chain one and turn after each row. I'm gonna add some, um, I'm gonna tell you afterwards how long I made my scarf. So I have 32 rows now. Then I'm just gonna fasten off. And then you can use this to make her head more stable. And add a little, a nice scarf gonna weave in the ends here on the scarf I want to add a little green accessorize here on the scarf just to make it stand out a little bit so I'm gonna make a little pom-pom so I'm just grabbing some yarn and then like, like so and then you just put it around, around two fingers like so and then just wrap it around and then grab the put it away like so and grab another piece and then make a knot here Also, we need to make a little tail here for the mouse. So if you want a tail, see now. Ta-da! <laughs> I think it looks quite nice with those pom-poms here because he pops out like so. You can see it also in the pictures later. Now she has a scarf and then if you want to add a little tail here that's coming out of the pumpkin, just make a slip knot and then chain, make some chains, maybe 17, 18, 20, depending how long your tail should be. Make them a little tight here because we, we are not adding any stitches here so you don't have to worry about that. Like so. Cut the yarn. So now we are almost done here. Just gonna find a nice place here and sew on the tail. So 
And then here you can just cut it off here and then just fringe it here like so. So now she has some accessories. Ta-da! Now the mouse is ready. I'm going to show you also from a different angle here. So I hope that you like this pattern. Here are my two mice and uh, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I hope you had fun making these mice. Have a nice day. Goodbye.